Roxana Begum is the current British and European kickboxing and Muay Thai champion, in addition to World Championship double bronze medalist and the current number one world title contender. Through her success, she has been honoured to meet Her Majesty the Queen, was one of the Olympic torchbearers and has many accolades to recognise her success. Having attained a BA in architectural technology and working within the field for a year, Ruxana soon realised that her passion lay in the sports arena. Ruxana currently works part-time as a science technician and conducts a few kickboxing sessions with community groups during the week. Hi Ruxana, thank you very much for uh, meeting us today. Okay. Got a few questions for our viewers yeah. um, at On TV Station. Tell us about your background and what made you choose Thai boxing? Um, obviously I come from a traditional Muslim uh, Bangladeshi background and um, I've always been into sports and I love sports, all kinds of sports um, and you know I found my passion in Thai boxing I just fell in love with the sport it was it was challenging it was explosive and it fit my personality nothing else was as challenging for myself so hence I took up Thai boxing and just continued as a um, as a young woman what attracted you towards Thai boxing what aspect of it was it the fury the explosive bursts I think it was a combination of everything. Growing up as a uh, Muslim female, obviously I had lots of restrictions and that gave me an outlet, that gave me something to de-stress, especially being at university, mm. um, having all those stresses and trying to be everything to everyone, for my family, for my community f at university. So for me, it was my time. That was my time where I was happy and I took mm. up a sport that took me away from all of that. And not only that, the sport itself gave me focus, gave me discipline, discipline, gave me strength, gave me confidence and um, you know it was just really explosive and that in itself was everything that I was looking for. Who is your favourite all-time boxer and why? Um, apart from my coach who's been such an inspiration to me. You mean Bill? Bill Judd, yes. Um, you know, from a young girl, he took me under his wing, believed in me and helped me through every stage of my life, whether it was university, my home challenges, um, and especially in my sporting arena, like you said. Um, but one of my favourite boxers um, in the world um, past would be Muhammad Ali and um, Bruce Lee, because, you know, they demonstrated not only are they skillful in the ring, but they were so, you know, intelligent and had so much um, you know knowledge in life in general and that inspires me that they can have best of both worlds people keep on harping about boxing being a dangerous sport mm -hmm. would you like to tell me otherwise um, at the end of the day it's um, it's not for the light-hearted but it's there to um, I mean you don't have to go into um, a ring to compete you can always do it as a passion as a way of keeping fit and enjoy the sport and learn the skill of self-defense and just enjoy and have some fun just how much of your life does boxing training and everything around it take up um, it takes a vast amount of my time and dedication and effort because it's not something that you can just come in and think I could just get through the session it's something that you have to be on it mentally physically challenge yourself and you have to give it your 110% currently I'm training six times a week twice a day it's taking up a lot of your life it does, but when you enjoy something, you know, you don't clock watch. So, so it's, it's definitely, you know, the passion takes you a long way. You're very well known in the community. You've inspired a lot of people, young women, um, older women, you know, mothers during the day. How are you going to engage with people from the community um, and inspire the next generation of uh, boxers to um, rise up? I'm hoping I don't just inspire just boxers and um, mothers. I hope I can reach out to more than just my community and everyone out there who has a challenge, who has an obstacle, and that nothing is impossible. It's just putting your heart and your mind and just pers persevering and working through those challenges. There's always going to be hard times, but it's all about you know, um, staying consistent and working through those challenges. Ruxana, uh, you used to train in secret. Yes. Why? Um, 
as you know, with my background, um, I was very, very afraid of how my family would react. And it wasn't the done thing to be a female boxer or to take up a sport that was quite unusual for even a Western female, um, especially, you know, 10 years ago. Yes. Um, it's incredibly hard to find a female trainer um, on top of that. So um, I, I took it up as a passion and kept it as a hobby for many years um, because I knew my family wouldn't approve of me uh, doing such a sport that is, you know, quite dangerous, quite male dominated. Um, and I know things have changed now, especially with the um, boxing being a part of the Olympics and it's become so much more woman friendly. Um, but initially that wasn't the case so it was quite difficult for me to just sure. open up and tell my family because I, would, I don't think I would have got a positive response at that time. But since then where I've been doing um, well at the sport and I've made a difference in that sense in other people's lives, my family have been much more accepting with what I do. You've ventured into designing clothes and you've got an interesting line yeah. in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. Tell us more. Uh, one of the things that really inspired me, especially uh, being an athlete, and I wanted to give something back to the community, and I felt that one of the things that held Muslim females back was, you know, whether they feel comfortable in a training environment. And um, especially after the Olympics, with Saudi Arabia taking part in the Olympics, uh, with other Muslim uh, females taking part, they actually did uh, design a sports hijab for the elite athletes uh, where it met all the health and safety requirements. And that inspired me to think, hang on a minute, if it's there for the elite athletes, why shouldn't it be there for the masses? So Muslim women, whether, whether they're going for a jog or come to the gym or playing any form of sports, that they have something where they can feel confident and they don't have pins with the hijab and they're sweating. So I've come up with a sports hijab myself um, which is going to be out very soon. It's on sample stage at the moment, where it, the fabric is breathable, where the fitting is comfortable, and it doesn't have any restriction. It has four-way stretch, it has, it's moisture resistant. All of those things perfect for uh, taking up a sport and uh, training in it and feeling confident. Who's your, or who are your favorite current day boxers? And briefly tell us why. Um, one of my favourite boxers has to be Manu, Manu Pacquiao, simply because he's small, he's tiny, he's from an ethnic background, but he's strong and he's sharp and he definitely delivers. So, um, And also Amir Khan because, again, he comes from a background like myself and he's made a difference and inspired so many you know, men and women and made a really big impact. Lastly, yeah. your fighting for the world title in March, very proud moment for yourself, for the community, for your family. How are you focusing and preparing? What do you want to achieve from this? Um, at the end day, obviously, I'm giving him 110%. Um, I, I'm training hard. I'm doing everything that I can do possibly to go out there and win and represent my community, represent my country and represent myself. Um, but hopefully, you know, inshallah I win, but I can't say what's going to happen on the day. But hopefully everyone's du'as with me and please come and support me. Ruxana has a dedicated Facebook page, Ruxana Begum. She's also on Twitter at Ruxana Begum. That's R-U-Q-S-A-N-A -A Begum, B-E-G-U-M. To purchase tickets for her world title fight in March, which will take place in King's Cross, please contact her via the Facebook page or tweet. You can also pick up tickets at the KO Gym in Bethnal Green. Thanks for watching on TV station.